friends good morning it's another beautiful morning and i'm so glad to be here with you we are going to have fun today as we continue to learn about sensory play and what we can touch and feel right as we play and learn yesterday we had really we had a really good time with the water right and we put food coloring inside the water some friends may have had some bubbles right if we added dish detergent and our water to make it bubbly and today we're going to have some fun with some glue what i'm going to come around glue how are we going to do that miss shannon well, friends, we are going to have fun with some glue and a water bottle, and I'm sure you can see my materials right here. We're going to get started with them in just a little while, but I'm really excited to share these things with you, friends, because this is fun. This is exciting, and when we get our hands wet, and we get to touch different things, it makes us makes our senses come alive, right? It awakens them like, wow, I can really feel something that feels sticky, right? Or it might feel hot or cold. We could feel temperatures. And so always remember though, if you don't feel comfortable touching something, you can always use gloves, right? You can protect your hands and use gloves until you get more comfortable with it. All right, friends, we are going to get started. But before we do, I want to know, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling good? Somewhat in the middle? Mm, not sure. Well, I hope you're feeling real good, real great. Two thumbs up. I'm going to grab my trusty pink pointer and we'll get started, okay? Did Miss Shannon say pink pointer? Oh, Miss Shannon purple <laughs> the purple pointer miss shannon don't be a silly goose all right friends i have my trusty purple pointer we are going to spell july together friends and we're also going to count let's see what day we're at are you ready let's begin good morning boys and girls today is <clears throat> july 6 2021 and let's look at the word July it starts with the letter J J U L Y July one two three four five what number goes here friends <clears throat> if you said six you are correct let's put number six on the board Here's number six, and the color that's around number six is orange. All right, friends, now that we've counted to six, we know we're in the year 2021. What is today, friends? Is today Monday? Is today Tuesday? Today is Tuesday. You are correct. We have to grab our Tuesday sign. What does our Tuesday sign look like, friends? There it is. It begins with a T and it makes the t t sound Tuesday. And we'll put it right here on the board and sing. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday. All day long, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday. All day long, all day long. Today is Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday. Friends, if today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. You are correct. Monday starts with M. M O N D A Y. Monday. <clears throat> Let's sing. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday, and friends, if today's Tuesday and yesterday was Monday, what will tomorrow be? Did someone say tomorrow will be 
Wednesday. If you said Wednesday, you are correct. Great job, friends. You're super intelligent. Give your brain a kiss. All right, let's spell Wednesday together. W E D N E S D A Y. Wednesday. All right, friends. How many days are in a week? Does someone say seven? Great job, friends. If you said seven, you are correct. Friends, today I want to see, can we try to snap our fingers? Do you know how to snap? You're just putting your middle finger and your thumb together, and then you need for your thumb to land on your pointer. Sounds a bit tricky, but you just put them together and there you have a snap. Can we try? Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Did you hear Miss Shannon snap? There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Wow, good job, friends. And if you can't snap, don't worry. When your hands begin to grow as you're getting older, friends, guess what? You will be able to hear the sound even more, okay? So don't worry, it takes practice too, and we can always clap. I just wanted to try snapping today. All right, friends, let's sing. How many months are in a year? Did someone say 12? Yep, let's count. These are the months of the year. There's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. There are 12 in all, friends. Thanks for singing with me. And what season are we in? Are we in the summer season? We are. If you said, Miss Shannon, we are in the summer season, you are correct. Friends, let's take a look at the summer season scene. What do we see in our picture? What do we see here? Are the leaves on the tree up here yellow? No, Miss Shannon. What color are they? Green. Yes, they're, these trees right here are green. And I want to point out the bird. What color is the bird that's sitting right there on the tree branch? Is he red? Absolutely he is. He is red. The yellow sun is beaming down on the two squirrels who are getting wet in a sprinkler. Have you guys ever seen a sprinkler outside before? Maybe if you have a front yard or a backyard, um, there's a hose. It's, it's small and it's green. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it's attached to a water device, right? A little plastic device that has water in it and the water splashes up just like that, friends, and it goes back and forth. You can jump in it and get wet if you have a swimsuit, right? Have you jumped in a sprinkler before? All right, now we're going to talk about the weather, friends. The summer is not going anywhere anytime soon, right? We've got a while in the summer season. And while we're here, it's hot, friends. It's pretty much hot every day. Some days it may cool down a little bit, but for the most part, it's hot. So we don't need a jacket, right? We don't need a heavy coat, rather. We don't wear boots in the summer. What's Mr. Dinosaur wearing? Is he wearing sandals, shorts, sunglasses, and a hat? Oh, he is. He's ready for the summer. Are you enjoying your summer so far? How's your summer going? I hope it's going good. All right, friends, let's get ready to sing. Are you ready to give a shout out to your friends, right, who may be jumping up and down and all around with you? Okay, who's up first? Did somebody say the girls? Of course, the girls are up first. Girls, are you ready? I'm ready to jump up and down and all around with you as well. Okay, let's begin. Are my girls here today? Are my girls here today? I jump up and down and all around. My girls are here to 
today. Hooray, my girls made it today. Good job, girls. Next up are the boys. Boys, are you ready? Are you ready to jump up and down and all around? Okay, let's see your moves. Are my boys here today? Are my boys here today? I jump up, down, and all around. My boys are here today. Hooray, they made it today. Next up is Miss Shannon's turn. Are you ready for me, friends? Are you ready to dance with me? Okay, let's get it. Is Miss Shannon here today? Is Miss Shannon here today? I jump up, down, and all around. Miss Shannon is here today. Oh, hooray, I made it today. All right, friends, I made it here. I hope you are happy to see me. I am happy to see you. I'm so glad you made it here today. We jumped up and down and all around. We made it to virtual preschool, right? We're here. Okay, friends, next up is our exercises and our song, right? We're gonna sing and dance a little bit. Are you ready? Let's sing. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you happy and you if you're happy and you know it, bop your shoulders. If you're happy and you know it, bop your shoulders. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, bop your shoulders. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, bop your shoulders. Touch your head. Good job, friends. Give yourselves a clap. And a pat on the back. You did amazing. All right, friends, now that we've sung, we bopped our shoulders, right? We got our exercise and our stretches in with our shoulders. We are ready to read our stories. Friends, guess what? We are going to read two books today. It's bonus book day. Woohoo! That means we get two stories today. Don't forget to grab your water if you need it. And we're going to begin. Are you ready, friends? Okay. Friends, our first story is titled, I Was So Mad. Oh my goodness. I wonder what made her so mad. So there are times, friends, that we may be upset, right? Every morning, Ms. Shannon asks you. Most of the mornings, I say, how are you feeling, friends? Are you feeling good, so-so, not so well, right? Some days, if we're not having such a great day, we could feel mad, right? Or even if we're doing sensory play, right? If we're playing with water or different materials, maybe we don't want to share or we get upset, right? That might happen sometimes. So we're going to talk about it in this story. Let's see what happens. I was so mad. I wonder why she was so mad, friends. Let's see. I was so mad. I was almost finished building the best scene castle. I got up for one second and Mason took my favorite shovel. Hey, I said, I was using that. Sorry, Mia, he said. He put the shovel down and then started adding to my castle. Olivia came over and joined in too. This is my castle, I said. You don't own the sandbox, 
Mia said Olivia. That was it. I didn't want to play in the sandbox anymore. Mia, Miss Lori called, what's wrong? Mason and Olivia messed up my sandcastle and now they're playing without me, I said. That must make you angry, she said. Miss Lori was right. I was so mad. Sometimes when I feel mad, I need time to myself, said Miss Lori. Running usually helps me feel better too. I love to run, I said. Sometimes my mom times me. Why don't you race around the playground? I'll time you, Miss Lori said. Ready, set, go. I ran as fast as a cheetah. Miss Lori said it took me less than a minute. Then I ran over to Olivia and Mason. Hey, can I play with you guys, I asked. Sure, they said. I was not so mad anymore. See that, friends? What do you notice about the picture that we're looking at? Does it look like the little boy here is mad? Mm-hmm. And what about these friends? Are they happy that they're playing together? Absolutely. Do you think that the running helped her? Right, it did. It helped her cool off because she was very upset and sometimes that happens. But if we take a moment and we cool down, we feel better afterwards. And she got an adult to help her, right? Who helped her? Did her mom help her? Did her teacher help her? Who helped her, friends? Yes, her teacher. Let's take a look there. There was her teacher. Her teacher helped her, right? She was so upset. And she mentioned her mom helps her too, right? So when she's at school, the teacher helps her. And when she's at home, her mom helps her, right? Those are the things I noticed. Did you notice those things too? Awesome. All right, friends, since it's bonus book day, we have one more story. And let's see what's going on with this giraffe. This book is titled, Will Giraffe Laugh? Look at his face. He looks mad like the little girl in the book. Or does he look happy? What do you guys think? Mm-hmm. He doesn't look too happy. Let's see what's going on with Mr. Giraffe. Giraffe is grumpy. His friends want to cheer him up. But will Giraffe laugh? Will Giraffe laugh with Bear? No. Will Giraffe laugh with Crocodile? Oh, no. Will Giraffe laugh with Sheep? Ouch, no. Will Giraffe laugh with Frog? Nope, 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 nope. Will Giraffe laugh with Ladybug? Achoo! No! Uh-oh. Will Giraffe cheer up his friends? <laughs> yes, how do you cheer up your friends? <laughs> I guess you tie them all up in the end. The end. Friends, wasn't that funny? It was a little bit funny, but at the beginning, what happened? Did you notice that Giraffe was really upset? And through the middle, he said, no, a big, long no, right? What do you notice here? Are the clouds dark or light? 
dark, right? So what does that mean? If we see dark clouds and the giraffe has his eyes closed, he looks like he's upset and he's saying no, but that at the end it got better. He was happy with his friends, right? Oh yeah, let's see when his friends started to laugh. Look at that. They're all laughing. All right, that's the end. I hope you enjoyed that too. All right, friends, we are going to get started on our sensory project, another fun one. So make sure you have your materials ready. If not, you can grab them, right? And we'll get started. We are going to use food coloring. And again, you can use whatever color you'd like. I have red here, I have green, I have yellow. Can you see my colors? Red, green. <laughs> All right, friends, we are going to take an empty water bottle, right? Here's an empty water bottle. And you can also take the paper off that's around it if you like. You might hear some crack, crackle noises, right? This is a good way to use your fingers, put your fingers to work and just take that paper off, just like that, okay? So you can really see what's gonna happen on the inside of your bottle. Are you ready? There may be a little bit of water at the bottom. That's okay. It could be fully empty or if there's a little bit of water at the bottom, it's okay. All right, friends? And we are going to start with our glue. We need liquid glue. So I just put my liquid glue in a cup, just like that. Can you see that, friends? It kind of looks like milk, doesn't it? Ooh, white slime. It's just liquid glue. Right? Okay, we are going to pour this glue inside of the bottle, all right? So you may wanna take your bottle in one hand and make sure it's sitting down really well somewhere where it's not gonna fall. And you want to make sure you are holding your cup really good because you don't want that to fall either because it's a lot of glue, okay? We are going to pour it inside. And friends, this takes concentration. So we have to look at what we're doing, pay close attention, okay? We're going to pour the glue right inside the bottle. All right, let's try it together. Wow, look friends, can you see the glue going inside the bottle? Yep, it's going in, it's going in. Just like that, all right? And it's not going to fill up the entire bottle and that's okay. As long as we have enough for it to cover the bottle once we start shaking it up, okay? So we don't need too much glue, just enough to fill the base, right? A little bit above the base of our bottle, our water, our water bottle. Okay, see how Machina squeezed that? Can you see it? Doesn't it look like milk, friends? <laughs> it looks like milk. And I'm just squeezing any excess, ex, excess glue right into the bottle. All right. There we have it. Okay, my glue is in my bottle. Now that I have it in there like this, how does yours look? Do you have your glue? Is it moving around like this? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to take the color yellow and I'm going to squeeze a few drops of yellow food coloring inside of the water bottle. And again, this takes concentration and you can do it, friends. Just pick up your food coloring and you're just going to pour it over right inside the water bottle, okay? So just like this, give it about five drops. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Then you're going to take your top 
put it on really, really tight. And don't forget to put the top back onto your food coloring as well because it can get messy, okay? So we wanna make sure we take care of our materials, put the top back on so that we don't get too messy. And we have to make sure we twist this really tight. We may need an adult to help us and that's fine. Friends, doesn't it look like I have orange ice cream? Ooh, or orange um, syrup. I like snowballs. It's like an ice cone. And the syrup that's left over looks like this. All right, friends, here is the fun part. Now, if you have glitter, you can put glitter inside here if you want. But I just have glue and food coloring, okay? And I'm going to mix it up. So if you're ready and your top is on tight, that is the most important thing, right friends? That our top is on really, really tight and we are going to shake this up. Are you ready? Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> We're going to shake this together on the count of three. One, two, don't shake just yet. Three, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, look, friends. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Wow, look at that, friends. Whoa, look at it move. It's moving slowly. Wow, look, you can watch it move. Isn't that cool? Look, and my whole bottle is yellow. And we can put it next to our ears. Do we hear anything? I can feel the glue moving. And if we want to press it with our hands and squeeze it really tight. It makes a silly noise. Isn't that cool, friends? Shake, 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 shaking our bottles. Shake, 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 shaking our bottles. Isn't this fun? Friends, I also want to show you, and you can make as many as you want. So if you have more than one empty water bottle, as long as it's okay with your parents or someone who is helping you, you can, friends, Put any other colors with glue and you can add more glue if you want, but you don't need that much. And you can add a little bit of water or no water at all. It will still move around the bottle. So can I show you what I also did, friends? I did a green one as well. Ooh, look at that. Can you see how it settled to the bottle? So I did this another day and look, it's still like this today. Isn't that cool? And this one, didn't have much water in it at all at the bottom. So it moves even slower than my yellow one. Can you see that, friends? Look. It's moving all around and I squeezed it. Isn't that cool? The top is on really tight. That top isn't moving. Look. Both of the tops have their colors and you can do them together. And this one, I put a little bit of glitter inside there too. So it's, it has some gold glitter and you can put them upside down, right? And you can put them back up again. I wouldn't throw them though, right? Just keep them in your hands and put them back down and go back up. Aren't they cool, friends? Yes, I really like them. How did you like that, friends? You can make as many colors as you want. You just need those three simple materials, a water bottle, food coloring, and glue. That's it. And you have a fun sensory project. All right, friends, I had a great time with you today. I hope you had an amazing day with me. Don't forget, what does Ms. Shannon always tell you? Point to yourself right here, right here. Put your hand on your chest, right lightly. And what do I always say? You are awesome. You are intelligent and you are amazing. 
You are, friends. Don't forget it. I'll see you right back here tomorrow, okay? As we continue to learn about all things sensory and have some more fun. Until tomorrow, friends, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. See you tomorrow.